Now, Mexico's lower house of Congress has voted in favor of legalizing recreational marijuana use. This is being seen as a step towards transforming the land of the drug cartels into a huge regulated market. The process of legalization still needs a final approval by the upper house. It is aimed at curbing drug-related violence due to which thousands of lives are lost every year in the Latin American nation. Now, this law will make Mexico, which is home to 126 million people, one of the very few countries including Uruguay and Canada, to legalize cannabis for recreational use. Given Mexico's production capacity, if the law gets enacted, the country will have the largest legal market in the world. Es un es un mercado para los narcos esto. Y entonces si lo hace legal, siento que bajaría, ¿sabe? Le quitaría un poco más de peso a eso, a esa delincuencia que hay ahorita en México. The lower house of Congress, the Chamber of Deputies, approved the bill by 316 votes to 129 votes. Even though Mexico's Chamber of Deputies approved the bill, it will be voted on again in the Senate as the lower house introduced several changes. The opposition Institutional Revolutionary Party and the Conservative National Action Party voted against the bill. However, they are outnumbered by President Andres Manuel López Obrador's Morena Party and its allies in both chambers. A PRI legislature voiced a concern that the legislation would increase the rate of consumption and addiction. A landmark Supreme Court ruling in 2015 opened the door to the recreational use of marijuana in Mexico. Activists are concerned that cannabis would remain on the list of prohibited substances under the health law and that it would not be decriminalized for possession of more than 28 grams. According to one of the activists, the law does not solve one of the main problems in Mexico, which is the misuse of security and justice resources. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.